just wanted to do a little video of how we've been handling the content transfer for uh, one of the sites we've been working on recently for JMU. It's the Office of International Programs. So when they came to us, their site looked like this, and I guess in live it still does. Um, so basically this is just static HTML, um, all managed through contributor or some sort of Dreamweaver program. Um, so what they wanted to do was move all of their hundreds of pages, and there are hundreds of pages um, in this site, into, into Web Manager. Um, so the way that we handled that was um, basically, first of all, uh, we did wget, so we downloaded the whole site locally. And then um, for the sites that they, for some of the pages they were not altering, as in not editing, um, we just used this program called Win Automation, and we wrote a script um, basically to import the shtml files and um, it basically parses the file. We use regular expressions to actually extract the, um, the editable content, for example, because it was using contribute, we were able to get everything in between the editable instance tags and um, we were able to extract the the headers like from the h1 tags to use in web manager um, so we basically do a bit of parsing we also went in on the fly and adapted the image source references so that they would reference the wm library um, so it does that on the fly so then this program actually opens up uh, web manager itself and it, um, it goes through and actually plugs in, creates the page and plugs in the HTML for these pages. We'll do a quick demo. Um, this is the program. I just push play on the automation and then um, it'll pop up like a, a file browse window. So then um, I could go into, let's see here go into the study abroad and just select a few files. I'll just go with these three here. I'm going to open those. So it starts to chew away on those. It goes into the web manager. It's kind of neat to see it running on its own. Um, I actually wrote the script when I was on my back. I put my back out and uh, I didn't have anything better to do so it gave me some time to play around with the regular expressions and um, you know, to, to actually make the script work. One of the things I had to do was um, load this little add-on called Stylish into Firefox because apparently um, the buttons in Web Manager actually move depending on how long the, the, the title is. So there it's actually adapted the image reference tag and it's the image is already there in Web Manager. So what I was saying is these buttons down here actually move based on how long the title is. So in order to use this automated mouse click, I had to fix their position <laughs> um, using a, a Firefox add-on. So it's already put in the first page. Um, it's basically time to go as quick as Web Manager will allow it. Um, so instead of us charging the client to sit there for hours having someone do this, um, we have a program do it. Um, another way that they gave us content was um, using Word. Some of their documents they wanted to actually um, to edit. So here on one of my other screens here is a bunch of Word docs that um, they gave us. And then because Word is horrible with formatting and we, we just can't, you know, open up a Word doc and suck the source code out, what we had to do was run those through a program called Word Cleaner. So we batch processed those, um, extracting clean HTML from the Word docs. Essentially what they had done was copy pasted content from the old website into Word, did their editing in Word, and then we told them just give us separate Word docs for every page you want in Web Manager. So then we save those HTML files and again we use the Win Automation program to go ahead and parse those into Web Manager. So here you can see our Web Manager uh, dump in insert job kind of wrapping up here. And then all we have to do is go back through the pages, just maybe tidy them a little bit, 
and build the left hand nav and we're all set. So uh, we figured all that out just in time for you guys to come up with a new um, web management system altogether. I know you're you're probably thinking this is old school because you're, you're move, moving over to Cascade, but uh, I thought it was our approach was maybe a little bit different. I wanted to share it with you. Um, this type of approach it might work for Cascade. It would probably be easier, I'm assuming, because Cascade probably has some form of API. I'm hoping maybe, and um, Web Manager doesn't. Um, but also wanted to say if you if y'all want to have us over sometime, uh, just to like. Um, Maybe once once you guys have, you feel like you've got a good enough grasp on uh, Cascade, um, I'd be happy to come over for free and just kind of get a feel for it. Um, we've really enjoyed doing the designs and turning around projects for the departments. Um, so, you know, we'd like to continue to do that. And, um, you know, just, just kind of getting a feel for things ahead of time would be cool. Um, you can pay me for that if you want to, but you don't have to. Um, so yeah, thought I'd share that. Hope you liked the video. Bye.